the basic parameters for the C100, which is our compact variable speed drive. When you first power the drive on, you'll see the frequency display, and there is a parameter group right within this display. Pressing the up arrow brings you to the acceleration time. Pressing edit, enter, allows you to edit the, the time, change the t acceleration time to whatever is necessary for the application. Press enter twice to save it. On all parameters, you press enter twice to save it. The next setting is a deceleration time. Enter to edit it. Arrows to change the time. Enter twice to save it. Next parameter we need is the DRV, which is the drive run command. How the drive will start the motor. The default value of one is a digital input, the P1 terminal. Next up is FRQ, which is the frequency command. Pressing enter allows you to see the default is set to zero. Zero means keypad. Once that is set up, the basic start and stop menu, you'll next need to enter the motor data. Pressing the right arrow brings you to the F menu. The first parameter we'll go to is F39 for the motor voltage. You can see it's set to 100. That's 100% 100 of the input voltage. Next will be the input voltage. Parameter F67. F67 is set to 220. So 220 volts for this particular drive. You can change it to 230 enter twice. If it's a 480 volt drive, the parameter will be F68. The next parameter to change is the motor capacity, which is in the H group. Pressing right gets you to the H group. H number 30. H30 is in kilowatts. The drive is set to 0.4 kilowatts currently. Can easily be changed with the arrows up and down. Next is the motor poles. H31 is where you set the motor poles. Default value is four poles. You can use the up and down arrows to change the correct motor poles. Next would be the motor current, H33. Pressing enter to edit it, you can change the motor rated current here. And last is the motor efficiency in H36. Seventy-five percent is what the default rating is. Whatever the drive nameplate efficiency rating is, you would set it to that. Press the right or left arrows to go back to the main screen. And because it's default for the parameter to set on the frequency display, we change it here. So 53 hertz is what we're going to start at. P1 will start the motor.
and that's the basic setup for the C100.